Hello, everybody. We're taking a look at Marvel trading cards here today. I'm Chris. Brett. Dave. Henry. And uh, these, I was loosely reading comics, but it was these, these little these little products over there, there, that got me into all of the superheroes I didn't know about and all of the other issues I hadn't seen. Yeah, all the way back in 1990, these mm -hmm. were released by Impel, mm -hmm. though they later renamed their company to Skybox. So if you saw oh. Skybox on trading cards. Yes. This was when, uh, like, baseball cards were at a huge new height and so then comic book companies like marvel got into the act and started making cards based on all their characters yes yeah, it's, it's pretty bizarre because i was totally into i was into baseball cards but not into baseball i was into garbage pail kids i was into the dino saucers it's pretty much anything that could be in a trading card and it seems like it took marvel forever to get on that you know that boat wow. here's an ad zap vanquish vaporize liquefy every other trading a, card on earth print ad for trading cards yeah uh, and they were not wrong <laughs> they were not wrong and you also have where how did you keep these cards everybody in a binder, uh, in a binder. In a, binder. Yeah. And a nice little binder exactly in like order that. but we're going to be going through the heroes starting at the beginning uh this is the probably part one of part two where we discuss the superheroes am i right mm -hmm. yes because there's so many there's like 150 some cards in this there set. are but uh this is the set that like before i even read many comics it was this set that Introduced me to the concept of even the word super villain. So, mm -hmm. and, and everybody uh, from and our I, generation like yeah. remembers these ones. Yeah, the, yeah. The, everything is, about yeah. this is iconic. The, the characters, the colors, and the stupid little banner. Yeah, at, on the right right hand corner. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the, the, and this this being the first set, they didn't even do power levels yet. Mm -hmm. There's no like strength, speed, stamina. There's no that comes in season series mm -hmm. two and three. But this is just more like. Uh, standard action shot of the front. A lot of them are even not even like they're not from the they're not from comics. It's new mm -hmm. art, but it's also like just them in a slice of life. Like no, that's like why a, an idea of Captain America, not him actually yeah. doing something. Yeah. Sexy shot. Well, and that's why I loved uh, looking back on him too, because they they have. They got big name artists at the time to draw original art of specific characters in like these glamour poster shots you yeah, would yeah. normally get. Yeah, and that uh, like the I read this interview with one of the publishers on it that the artists would make a ton of money off these because really? they got they got paid way better for cards than for a card <laughs> than they would for a page in a comic book wow. because the cards were selling so well. Though this one took them by surprise; they did not expect them to. And around this time, I still thought Cap was kind of a wiener. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, it's it's like, pretty, he didn't do anything. He like, was a wiener. The comics at the time didn't do anything for mm -hmm. me and then compared to people like spider-man or wolverine he mm -hmm. just seemed really lame and this art didn't help i always thought this was like <laughs> like he's kind of like leaning over he looks kind of like weak because yeah. he's like his picture isn't even straight or statuesque he's kind of leaning over that doesn't look that, like a powerful that could throw. Be him falling <laughs> yeah it doesn't like the throw he's about to do doesn't even look that strong so this didn't help. It took me another year or so to get like fully on board with Captain mm -hmm. America. But the back of the cards in this case mm -hmm. talk about rather than their strength, speed, stamina. It actually they, they give you a <laughs> battles fought, and he's fought two thousand battles. Two thousand yeah. battles. That and number his, is out of nowhere. And his win it. percentage is seventy. Can you imagine the idea of Captain America losing three hundred and forty-seven <laughs> times? <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. And I and mean, they Zemo. counted it. Yeah, that was that was something else too that comes from the major league baseball yeah, thing. They yeah, yeah. only oh, had yeah. baseball cards to go by, so like, well, what stats should these guys have like in baseball? Well, wins and loss records, yeah. their first team, their team yeah. affiliations, yep. all that stuff. And he is such a wiener in that profile. Uh, he's still that that, that patriotic hero from yeah. the nineteen forties. Well, Did the, you know he was frozen or nice for over over a decade? That's yeah. pretty, <laughs> that's great. Uh, but, and of course, he's number one. Yeah, yeah but this that is, makes sense. This is during. Captain America's kind of wiener period when he was being written by Mark Gruenwald is just he was your grandpa who was just like now vision I don't think you should do that I, I know best for robots <laughs> another example of I felt like Captain America was always thrust upon me like you should like this guy mm -hmm. he's the best of Marvel like I see no evidence yeah. of that in 1990. He looks like Patrick Warburton right now <laughs> yeah. in this picture. Yeah. 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 Cap, I'd be more into Cap uh, around 91, but this this card didn't help. Mm -hmm. Number two, though. Number two. We a can great get to card here. Here we go. Yeah, this get is... ready. Boom. Black Why? costume wow. Speederman. And representative clearly of 1990. Yeah, if ah. this was being produced in 80, if these were being produced in 89, mm -hmm. he was, that was still a standard costume, I think, because Amazing Spider-Man 300 maybe had just come out, which mm -hmm. ended right. the black costume yeah. era for a time but I mean that right there I, if I had to guess the artist I would say that's Mark Bagley because that is a very Bagley Spider-Man pose mm -hmm. though he didn't draw much of, of that costume of Spider-Man yeah. the black costume and uh, oh so that's the really cool thing too in black costume that they they have his 
They have his first appearance there, mm-hmm. and Spider Man gets multiple cards. He's, I think, the only yeah, guy yeah. who gets multiple hero cards. There, yeah. There's others, but okay. he he has three in this. And isn't that, so. isn't it strange? Like his, if you look at his bio here. It kind of just starts at Secret Wars. Mm-hmm. Well, because it's about the black costume specifically. Oh, it is weird. Yeah, that yeah, gets yeah. to be he's, I know he's two. in here three times. But yeah, yeah, why is yeah. this number two? Well, because this was his current... Like, this was the hot look still. So, mm-hmm. like, they... I don't know. Not the... Again, because this is a trading card. Mm-hmm. If that concept, if you're watching and somehow you weren't around for trading cards, it is you get random packs. Yeah. So, like, them being numbered only matters if you're actually going to collect them all. And I was. Yeah, and we were. Yeah, that yeah. was what we did. I so. feel like when I first read this card was when I found out our Venom. Like, yeah. it tells mm-hmm. you the story there in the yeah. Did You Know. Mm-hmm. Venom is currently wearing that black costume. I'm like, that's right. who's Venom? Who's yeah. this yeah. guy? Yeah. I this is how I found card. out about people. Like, because like, you couldn't go to a comic book store and be like, tell me everything about every <laughs> every character, please, sir. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm 10 years old. Lay it on me. Instead, these cards give you so much context and it was this idea of a yeah. huge world where all these characters are connected, and now we're seeing it play on the movies. Yeah, for, yeah. for some reason, it was I thought the cards did a more excellent job of world building. I was reading Marvel comics, like yeah. primarily Fantastic Four and X Men. Not even a Spider Man fan. I learned the most about him here. Spidey doesn't have as good a win percentage as Cap. Yeah, he has well, about a, almost a third of the wins. Well, that's only in the black suit. So, yeah, that's uh, a specific uh, in his black costume. Uh, all right. But yeah, number three. Number what three. Do we got is, of course. Oh, the Hulk. man. That is this a great Hulk. Hulk. So it took me a while to realize he was like tearing a tank apart. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. as a kid, huh. I it just. It just looks saw, like cement. I thought he was like spinning something fast, like Thor's mm. hammer, because it ha- kind of has that circular. Do you look? He's got Desert Storm fatigue on the uh, <laughs> on the tank, yeah. courtesy but, uh, of uh, 1990. He's also got Three Stooges haircut right there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this it's, also, it's most Mo Howard. <laughs> uh, another fun thing about these cards is the they give nicknames mm-hmm. as if like Old Greenskin and Jade Jaws, the Green Goliath, <laughs> like the Hulkster. I like, think half of these are just uh, one Spider Man. Yeah. I have never in my life heard. Heard old Jade Jaws. I've actually heard Jade Jaws. Jade Jaws, but, but Jade Jaws. it may be because of reading this card so many times. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but this is how you find out things like the Hulk can jump three miles. Three like, miles. I, I didn't know that leap. as a kid. Like, and he, a creature with childlike intelligence. Even though I think by the time I was reading this, he was just speaking. Yeah, because uh, by '91, he's Professor Hulk. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, the, and the one in Infinity Gauntlet is Smart Hulk. Uh, uh, but notice that rights reserved. Take note. I, I was wondering that. It's rights reserved. If you look back at Cap and Spider-Man, yeah, trademark. Just trademark. So oh. I, I have a feeling we're going to get to characters who have neither of those. Because um, I hope some of them. Well, they'll all have trademark, but Marvel only, should be careful. Only on ones that they've trademark. like really mm-hmm. sunk their teeth into and got like TV shows mm-hmm. and all kinds of yeah. stuff. I also like how kind of old, old timey all of them are. Honestly, because yeah. like the. The later ones almost get too cool. They do. Yeah, they're very. They get '90s real quick. Yeah, mm-hmm. this is. This is thorough classic. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I, I, I'd like to think this was an order in, of importance of where these characters <laughs> were in 1990. It's kind of how baseball cards work. Like yeah. number one is always like the biggest baseball guy. Yeah, is it? Or, yeah. I never even knew. That, I just that is absolutely Mark Bagley. That is 100 yeah. percent Mark Bagley. Mm, like, yeah, he, actually, the the body I can. I feel look at the body is. that is such a pose. The musculature and like the lips. Bagley has. He mm. always draws the under lip the same that's way. Crazy everyone. cornhead DD. That's that checks out. But and oh, again, look at that win percentage though. Dare, poor Daredevil. Wow, 50%. Uh, 50, well, yeah. but that he plays into the his, loser. Yeah, him getting the shit kicked out of him on a regular this, basis. But this again, it sold Daredevil short because I'm like, oh, he's some lame, not Spider-Man character. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, even though now that I love Daredevil, I'm kind of like looking yeah. back because, uh, strangely enough, it would be uh, Bendis and I guess Bagley never really worked on it. He drew Ultimate Daredevil, but mm-hmm. yeah, but he talks about his lie detector ability. A very yeah, important again, thing like, this was every every single card in this. I can't stress enough. Yeah. Is the introduction to a generation. Yeah, because I believe uh, I'd like, read Daredevil and like since he, he didn't do his lie detector thing, so I never knew that yeah. was an attribute yeah. uh, until this card. Um, um, yeah, oh, and is, I, I also... Daredevil's I trademark, wish, not copyright. I, I wish later... I wish this had what later cards had, which is crediting the artist. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. this doesn't have the credit of the artist on it, unfortunately. Let's see here. Nick Fury, wow. number five. Wow. In, Look at that one percentage. Marvel back, importance. Back wow. in the day, Nick Fury was a white man, people. Mm-hmm. This, uh, <laughs> and this, this guy, not the... Not the current Nick Fury, who is the son of this guy. But, yeah. uh, but that thing at the bottom is something that like people would forget for years even after this, mm-hmm. is that he's just as old as Cap and has been around since then, but he looks younger because of the infinity formula that he has to regularly yes. ingest to stay young. Which he ran out of, and yeah, so now 26 years later, he is the Watcher. He has mm-hmm. become the Watcher, yeah. and he is a cosmic entity this well, version. He was, and now he's just yeah. gone, right? 
Uh, no, he's still the watcher, as far as I know. I, I thought Bucky was huge. the watcher. No, no, no. Bucky is the watcher of the wall. Ah, who the man people, on the wall. But he is literally the, the, watcher, the watcher. Is in Uatu. He replaced Uatu. The also, watcher. note Nick Fury doesn't put up with fucking nicknames. <laughs> has none. <laughs> has true. none. I make my own nicknames. Not it's all about my, winning. Arch that enemies: uh, Madam Hydra, Baron Strucker, and Yellow Claw. Yellow Claw is one I don't recall. Uh, let's like, take a guess and never look him up because I have one guess what, what, yeah, what the character I would have Yellow to guess. Claw. Also, kind of kind of lame that his insert seems to be just ripped from a comic panel yeah. instead of an original art. Like I think maybe they forgot oh, to weird, ask yeah. the artist to draw so, it. So it's impressive that he's won 81% of the time, but those yeah. enemies suck. <laughs> so is it really hey, that Wait a minute. Madam Hydra and Bear Von Strucker yeah. run giant spy rings. Uh, like, that's but the, wait, is he the first one to where ties come into play? <laughs> No, no, no they're, they're, they all had ties. All right, all right, yeah. all right. Well, I guess we should keep going. Yeah, Number say, six. Yeah, yeah. I love this one so he, this much. This was my favorite oh. character. This is like, like what, what, is, what defines the... You can see the, him back there behind Yoshi. <laughs> what defines the thing? Giant hoagie, 10,000-pound <laughs> barbell, and uh, just a giant Fantastic Four logo, and that's the thing. And I a, love a this smile slash day. grimace. Yeah, and as a kid, when I was 10, I was like... Because I didn't know what the back of him looked like yet, mm-hmm. and I, mm-hmm. I'm like, is he wearing his underwear backwards? Yeah. <laughs> and I legit, I legit thought he had like briefs uh, on, and his, his crack would be hanging out in the back. Not that he had like wrestling trunks mm-hmm. on or something. Now I can't identify the front card artist, but the insert, the 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 profile shot, that's John Byrne. That's taken straight yeah. from a John Byrne book. But uh, nicknames: Rocky, Benji, Aunt Petunia's favorite nephew. <laughs> that one I haven't. What heard. about old blue eyes? Yeah. Oh. Wait. A, well, there's only so many. <laughs> yeah. He has so many enemies, though. Man, blast off. He, let's just say he, he doesn't, doesn't have, have a lot, lot of friends. friends. 41 ties. Jesus Christ. And 500 pounds, The NC though. Street Gang hates him. So before there were power ratings on the later cards, mm-hmm. I remember looking at this. It, in my mind, I have always wanted like Thing versus Hulk fights. I love yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. And so this shows you that he's half the weight of the Hulk. It says, like, hey, he can lift up to 85 tons. You're like, well, that's good, but the Hulk has a better description. And yeah. then also just talks about how he's annoyed by the Yancey Street game. Yes, and, and that's time. that's where I first learned about Yancey Street, and I kept trying to find out what was important about it because I was looking up all these old covers, and it always mentions Yancey Street. And the oldest comic I own, I now I completely forget. It's from 1963 or 4, and it's just, it all started on Yancey Street. Fantastic oh. Four, like number 20-something. Um, I would bet his percentage is a lot lower now in the wins and losses, though. Yeah, maybe, maybe it'll improve when he's with the Guardians. Uh, uh oh, Marvel Girl. So now Jean, I'm confused. Yeah, Jean Grey during her stint at X Factor became <laughs> Marvel Girl. Yeah, a year later she would just be Jean Grey. Mm. She's, she she went through a lot of names. Marvel Girl was her original name in her first appearance in mm-hmm. X Men, uh, but then she became the Phoenix, and then she was the Phoenix until she died. <laughs> then when she came back and joined X Factor, which was the X Factor was the original five mm-hmm. X Men all on the same team again. She resumed her name of Marvel Girl. Mm-hmm. In a couple of years, she'll rejoin the X Men, and then she's just Jean Grey, the Jean Grey we know from Mar- the X Men animated series. Yeah, group affiliation is l- listed. As X Factor, that, uh, that profile pic looks like uh, got like too much headroom. Yeah, yeah, like, can, yeah. you take, can you try that so, again? Can we get her an Apple box or something? <laughs> yeah. Move a little and lower. Now it's so weird looking at this as an adult. That's clearly Bagley again. Yeah, yeah that's like, clearly that, Bagley. I can't believe I like this. This is like my introduction to Jean Grey as a character, yeah. and I was ten years old, yeah. and now I'm like. Wow, that was Bagley all along. That's mm-hmm. so crazy. And her powers, the say their powers are depicted by Bagley the same way he would draw Marvel Boy, a mm-hmm. member of the ah. new Warriors, which is you know an aura of telekinesis around you, and then like a fire hose of psychic energy <laughs> shooting out of your forehead, which is how psychic energy works, duh. Yeah, baby. Um, that last sentence reads like Malibu Stacy copy. Which yeah. you have one woman who knows how to take care of herself in even the most dangerous situations. <laughs> va va vu. Yes. But, but that did you know is a great just like let's just summarize the x-men in one paragraph yeah mm-hmm. uh an evil life form assumed her appearance <laughs> and took her place for over a year and no one noticed not even you the reader <laughs> but she because is. we made it up later she's not the original marvel girl though right no she is she, she is. is the yeah. first character called marvel well okay sorry no in mm-hmm. Fawcett comics who then became dc in the shazam universe yeah uh act, well she was called marvel girl but she's really more Mar- mary marvel thank you and i'm sorry i asked um, <laughs> goblin queen's her number one enemy that's the woman who yeah. uh man mm-hmm. who 
Madeline Pryor who took who created a clone body of herself from demon powers and married Cyclops. And it's also, strange when they mention arch enemies who aren't cards in the set. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like yeah Goblin Queen. Maybe she's left in you it. wonder it. The villains. No, have, I think Madeline Pryor is in this now that I think. The about villains it. have their own set. Meaning at this point in Marvel, there are no anti heroes or uh, in betweeners. Really, yeah. Like Wolverine's the closest. Wow. Well, I mean, maybe? there's Punisher. We're yeah. going to see Punisher mm-hmm. eventually. Yeah. Um, but let's get back to this one. Uh, uh, speaking oh, of there there we go. Go. boom, that's that is Bagley too. As totes bags, and this is he one loves of the draw on the moon in the background. That's <laughs> this, like the second with the time. pubes all over it. For some this reason. is uh, one of the cards that was one of the hologram cards. In that's the set oh, as well, yeah. and it was the hardest one to get from the entire set. For me, it, it was took... Cosmic Spider Man. Really, that's the last card I got of the whole no, set. The Wolverine hologram. I think it's the third hologram of the set, which we probably won't even l- end up looking at. I think yeah. it's the same. It's I a still variant, have. Right? I still have one. I See, got rid of all of them except the hologram. Uh, I only bought. Uh, two of the hologram mm-hmm. ones because uh, uh, it was Cosmic Spidey. They were the Spidey ones. Cosmic Spidey and Spidey versus Goblin. Yeah, that's the first one. Uh, but they they realized the chase cards were... They only had five chase cards in this yeah. and that would like double every next yeah. set because they knew the chase cards got kids to buy more comics. Uh, or to buy more. But this, uh, this is back when he was Logan. He didn't know his past. Mm-hmm. Uh, his... He was a his weight smoke. is only two hundred pounds. Yeah, that is strange, mm-hmm. man. Oh man! So here's what I loved about. I think they're off there because definitely Zadamanti man is like mm-hmm. five hundred pounds to that. Savage, but. unpredictable, unstoppable. All these words describe the man known as Wolverine. So a, a quick backstory there on his first appearance thing. Mm-hmm. As a kid, I saw that, and I didn't realize that first appearances were valuable. Mm-hmm. I just thought. I want to read his first appearance. Mom, take me to the comic book store and let's see if they have Incredible Hulk 180. And so when I searched through the boxes, like, oh, it's not there. Hey, mister, can we get Incredible Hulk 180? And he just looked at us like, it's worth two thousand dollars right now. <laughs> we don't own it. Like why? Would, and he had to explain to if you don't got dumb the money, kids, I'm not getting up. <laughs> uh, what things were really worth. So, and, by, and this was before Wikipedia, guys. Yeah. They just had to, you had to hire an expert who this knew was your Wikipedia. Yeah, I think that the, card is all the information there is on Earth about Wolverine. There right might now. have been an encyclopedia you could buy. Well, those that was hand, out of those, yeah, they, they had they had the handbook. The handbook, Marvel, yeah. yeah the, how can you trust that when it says he's unstoppable, yet he's been stopped 91 times? Mm-hmm. 35% of the time, he's get, he's been stopped. He's getting stopped. And he'd soon be out of that costume and into his yellow and blue, yeah. as you'll see mm-hmm. in the background there. Yeah. All right. Well, we might get to Wolvie again. We'll see. Uh, Phoenix. Ah, uh, That's also why she's Marvel Girl, because that's currently yeah. the Phoenix. At the mm-hmm. time, Rachel Summers, her daughter from the future? That doesn't mm-hmm. exist anymore. <laughs> Group the affiliation, future, Excalibur, they were never popular. <laughs> and that's another Bagley. He loves the moon. Yeah. That, wow. There's another moon. <laughs> what, a, what a trope. <laughs> well, meanwhile, that other picture is like, that's yeah. garbage. Her profile shot? Yeah, that, that looks nothing shit. like her. I, and I've been trying to uh, t- make it a point to look at the stats. This is the first character, I think, introduced to us in the 80s. Every oh yeah, time. in eighty one, she. This was, is the uh, most recent yeah. character. I believe she's a Days of Future Past character. Mm. Goes back in time, or no? She's from a different. She's from one of those futures we prevented. <laughs> yeah, one of so many futures. She, but did you know Phoenix's parents are the mutants known as Cyclops and Marvel Girl? Yeah, that's what we just said. Oh, like, see, she, she like, is from see ruthlessly eradicated by Robot Sentinel. She is yeah, from Days mm, of Future Past. Yeah. And then she went back in time to now, and yeah, she's one of she's one of like four future children of, of Phoenix and Klaus. Mm. Did her and sight that her and Cable know each other in the future? I think they got uh, no. They're from opposite futures, right? Because he was sent to the future where they could sh- <laughs> save his uh, techno organic virus. Next. Power Man, Ooh. still Power Man in 1990. Yeah. Luke Cage. I mean, he's still in his 90s. He's still in his 70s garb at this point. Yeah. He wouldn't get redesigned, I think, for another a couple more 20, years. 20 years, probably almost. Uh, I know by 96 he was in a new costume. Man, one of his arch enemies is the Bushmaster. The Bushmaster. <laughs> oh God, his things. Again, we've got an improperly framed uh, yeah. bio so picture right there. Yeah, and his, but yeah. his weight is 425 pounds. Wow. Six, six, for unbreakable four. skin, that's pretty good. Yeah, he can lift three tons in pervious uh, steel hard skin. Maybe 40, that's why. 41% win ratio. Uh, on, not man. good. Not good for No, Nick I like that that's no, not Luke just Cage. like floating in space or looking at something. He's like, I just be the shit out of two guys. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my head right in front of your fucking moon. Look at me, yeah. and just like per, just it. parentheses, like he can lift three tons. Like you don't want to like have a chart maybe that, of how strong he is. Wait a minute, and that's Totes Bagley again. Nickname Lucas. I've never heard him called Nick, Lucas. Yeah. It's longer than his normal name. Like <laughs> you don't call some. Yeah. Next, uh, Dazzler. Yeah, the baby. Dazzler. That is a, that is wonderfully that 80s. is 1980.jpg uh, <laughs> it's like sort of 70s <laughs> but also 80s because like 
disco is sort of still a thing, but we don't want to have a disco character in the 80s and yeah. definitely not in 1990. So she's got maybe more like 80s hair mm-hmm. and I uh, think a thing more like pop music and not disco. I still love her and I think like she wasn't even as popular to us then, but yeah. until the X-Men arcade game a couple years yeah. later. Yeah, but- which she would be redesigned for that like Pride of the X-Men and that Konami game this year even. In oh, yeah. One, yeah. one of the worst win percentages, yeah. uh, 43%. Is she yeah. higher than Power Man, though? I think uh, it was like 41. Yeah. 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 Oh, Jeez, man. Thing. Oh, and then we got another Ma- Malibu Stacy description in the Did You Know. She's <laughs> even better at roller skating. <laughs> what they should have drawn her with roller skating. What a dame. Yeah. That's a weak artist, too. I, no offense to whoever drew that, but like they couldn't even do a background. It's just I, like I it. love that. I love that. I think yeah. it's one of the Bum most comic booky and... things you could just do on a card. Yeah. I'm surprised they don't how, do it more. Despite how small and relatively featureless that face is, mm-hmm. a lot of personality comes through that. Yeah, that's true. That's the, true. The, in the, the main card. I can see the smile and the squinting eyes. Mm-hmm. It's good. Dagger. Dagger. Uh, so, Dazzler to Dagger. Here's a funny story. Uh, so it's 1990, mm-hmm. and uh, in fourth grade, we know what the word sex is by now. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> this is a card that every boy in the class, we pass the card and be like, look, look, that girl's <laughs> boobs. Yeah. And it, it was more funny than sexy. It was just more like <laughs> boobs. Heh. And there'd be a kid on the bus when I'd ride home. Every time I would show him the card, he would act like he was getting a huge boner. <laughs> Weird. And we thought it was hilarious. Boy, 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 boy. Yeah, it would be like that. It would just like, oh, I don't, I don't get it. What's so funny about this? But and we're horrible people. Did you know Dagger is the only person capable of traveling in her partner's cloak's dimension of darkness without suffering any ill effects? Of the cloak, cloak, we'll see later. Of course. Uh, but yeah, other than her cloak. and Dagger are born out of like a lot of like the, the, the crime of Manhattan era in like the early 80s of like a lot of... A lot of drugs drug, gave them their power. Yeah, a lot of specific mm-hmm. drugs things where like Cloak is this really sad, depressed guy, and she's the opposite. Her daggers that she throws like mm-hmm. cure you of your uh, addiction. But they were both like runaway kids who were then given evil drugs uh, unwanted, and then they they gave them mutant ish powers. <laughs> Anybody yeah. want to explain Mister Jip and will it get us no. in any trouble? <laughs> I don't know, Mister Jip. Um, I, uh, and same the concept of night. Thing. You've been gypped. Yeah. <laughs> I only know Cloak and Dagger as helping Spider-Man. Yeah. Like, that's I, most of their They're also really good in Runaways. I bought, yeah, they're great I in bought Cloak and Dagger number one because I found it in a bargain bin. I'm sure it's uh, not very sought after. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that concludes our first look at the 1990 Marvel trading card set. As you might have noticed uh, in our haste to get through these, we left out Cyclops and Professor X, two notable X-Men, especially since Professor X is standing up in his picture. Uh, but this is the first of four videos looking at the superheroes. There are so many, there's over 50 to look at. Hit that subscribe button and don't miss an episode. <laughs>